For six years, the organizers of the Fresno Food Expo have brought hundreds of domestic and international buyers together to explore the new food and beverage offerings produced by those who call California's bountiful Central Valley home. The 2016 edition of the Food Expo brought more than 950 buyers to the Golden State, billing itself as the largest regional food show of its kind in the United States. Buyers appreciate the size and scale of the event. Well, you can see the companies that are more organized and have a marketing uh, strategy or marketing plan. Uh, you can see the differentiation and taste the products. But I think the main component of this show is that you meet the owners and the ones who are actually doing things. Uh, in some other shows and so, or some other regions, you talk to a, probably a bigger corporation but here you can see people that are actually own and do things. So it's easier to take decisions and make plans and establish long-term relationships. I love coming here to look at emerging trends. And uh, you know, when you look at the San Joaquin Valley, it's such an epic center for manufacturing and all the big growers are here. I'm specifically looking for trends in organic foods and to see um, you know, if we can merge some of the small artisan food entrepreneurs to the larger scale folks and then create maybe healthier uh, food options. Um, and uh, so that's what I'm mostly looking for. More than 130 local food and beverage companies displayed products at this year's show. Every signed contract will help boost the Golden State's agricultural sales numbers well over the $47 billion mark set in 2015. Among the companies in the exhibit hall was the family-owned Garrowin Farms, the largest grower of peaches, plums, and nectarines in the United States. The valley is very unique, and the valley offers a lot more than I think people really understand from fresh to finished. So we get buyers that come in that learn more about our company and our brand and our family. They can try and taste our products, but then they're also able to come in and learn more about some of these smaller companies, these up and coming companies that have some great innovative ideas that they're trying to get out into the national marketplace. Garrowin Farms was already a successful exporter before it began exhibiting its products at the show, shipping its goods to Canada and Mexico. But many of the companies gain valuable experience as they learn what it takes to expand sales beyond their local markets. To assist exhibitors in bridging that business knowledge gap, organizers of the show partnered with agencies like the 13-state Western United States Agricultural Trade Association and the California Center for International Trade Development. We provide an export training program, so we help the, we help the companies come in and then um, help them through the A through Z, you know, um, kind of technicalities of exporting. So if they don't know where to go, if they need to do an export assessment, if they need export training, if they're looking for foreign buyers, or they're contacted by a foreign buyer that they've never heard of and they want to do a screening. So we are considered kind of a one-stop shop before you go into a foreign market. In addition to training, these agencies leverage the matchmaking opportunities of the Fresno Food Expo by putting buyers in direct contact with producers attending the show. Bringing the buyers here gives them, you know, several different views of how the product is used. So, you know, they're able to go directly to the grower, directly to the food processor, and then talk to them about how to be able to get their product into their country. Some growers with experience in foreign trade boil expansion down to one key factor, consistency. Vincent Ricuti, president of the Enzo Olive Oil Company, came to this conclusion on his way to breaking into Canadian and Japanese markets after only six years of production. So the first thing that we did was we made sure that our, the quality of our product was the best. We really focused on you know, everything from the field to the manufacturing to the storage and the shipping, making sure that the control path was, um, was perfect and wanted to make sure that you know, at every stage we had great attention to detail. Um, my advice to anyone would be to make sure that you make the best product possible, and that's something that we really strive to do every single day. Many of the exhibitors who have focused on this one business practice have seen their annual sales increase after participating in the Fresno Food Expo. 
Plans for the next show are already underway, and organizers are looking forward to helping Central Valley producers grow a few more opportunities into a larger piece of the marketplace. For Market to Market, I'm Paul Yeager.